What's up, everyone? Uh, when I did the motor video the other day, I left out a bunch of other stuff just because I figured I don't want to make the videos too long because uh, I know how it is when I'm watching videos. If a video is too long, you lose interest. Uh, turn it off. So try to do stuff that, uh, or try to film stuff that, you know, seems interesting, but, uh, I'm gonna throw together a video today. Today's Monday. Parts still haven't come in yet. Uh, Rush said they'd call me as soon as I get there, but, uh, figured I'd throw together a video of a little update on the house and, uh, some time lapse of uh, me working on the brake lights, you know, re rewiring that stuff, uh, and fixing the muffler and fixing the muffler brace. So, hope y'all enjoy. I am on the way to my kids' ball game, so. few extra days don't hurt spend some more time with the family and uh, get to make it to some of my boys baseball games so hope y'all are having a good one we will uh, holler at y'all later everyone be safe peace one other thing if there's something in particular y'all want to see or you have a question about anything uh, drop a comment in the video and I'll answer it or like I said if it's something y'all want to see in particular I'll uh, try to do a short video on it or I'll add it into a video that I do in the future uh, hopefully I'll be back on the road here pretty soon I just called Rush and they got a couple of the parts in that I need uh, still waiting on the rest he said it should be there in the morning so Hopefully that's true. Uh, we can get the truck back together and get her back on the road and make some money. But anyway, uh, like I said, if y'all have anything, just drop a comment in the video. I'll get to it.
y'all think? Y'all think it'll hold? Get it to zoom in. Might put a little bit more meat right here. Kind of overlap it a little bit. I get the truck back up and going that way I can hook power to it double check which I'm pretty sure everything's right because everything went exactly back where it was supposed to be uh, the only thing I got to do is the little yellow wire that I have the butt connector on I have to uh, take it off and then set my pattern for this light and that light so I'm gonna leave this stuff off until I can get the truck hooked back up. Once I get the truck hooked back up, I'll uh, set the pattern, I'll cut that off, give me some bare wire, and then all you do is touch it to ground. These lights got like 19 different patterns you can choose from. So I'll set the pattern on it. Once the pattern's set, I'll put another butt connector on it, and then uh, mount it up. Both lights will be mounted and then all of them were rewired. I didn't have to rewire everything in here. Uh, what I did want to do is, like I said, that side over there had a crap ton of butt connectors on it, and they weren't uh, weatherproof butt connectors. So I changed the butt connectors out and the plugs, uh, put weatherproof butt connectors on it, and then weatherproofed the butt connectors on these and nice got them hole. done that's good. so uh, that's about it like i said i just gotta wait till i get power to the trailer uh and then i'll get everything hooked up make sure all the lights are working right and then uh set my pattern on the strobes on this one here and that one mount that back up uh, and we'll be good to go so I'll have the two strobes back here that are flashing white amber back and forth but uh, that's about it starting to come along that's the kids bathroom This is the granite we picked out. It's called Valhalla. I think I picked it because of the name. That will be going, the, what's in the world that will be going in the floor. Nine. 
things pretty nice. All the sheet rock, paint, all that's done. Low washroom. Got this little nook here. It's like set in two feet. And I think it's like seven feet that way. Uh, the wife's gonna do a bench with some uh, cubbies down there for shoes. And there'll be a shelf up here with coat hangers to hang book bags, uh, book bags and stuff like that. And then probably set junk on top. That's normally what ends up happening. But uh, yeah, it's all gonna be like one piece. Pretty nice. I am thinking about taking up a little bit of the uh, slab. That's what I want to do eventually. Probably won't do it like any time in the near, near future. But I want to take up a little strip and set a uh, line in to the center right here. And then I want to build a big fire pit right there. And then coming out of the ceiling would be a, like a floating flute that'll come down, piece of pipe come down, and then a big, uh, big flute to catch all the smoke and whatnot. But throw some chairs up around it. I'm uh, the only thing in the house that'll be propane is the stove, and I'm gonna do. My dad did it on his. Instead of setting like a big 250 gallon or 500 gallon propane tank, we had them run the line from the stove. It goes up, over, and then down through the wall, and then out right here. And what I'll do is I'll build a little, probably a little metal stand that's like tailgate height, and then I'll set two 100 gallon propane tanks that you can buy at Tractor Supply, and. Uh, Set one here, one here. Line will come up, and uh, there'll be a a uh, a little valve that you can, you know, to go to whichever propane tank you want. Uh, run off one when it starts getting empty. Flip the valve, and it'll go to the full one. And then you just throw that hundred pound propane tank in the back of your truck. Take the truck supply or any propane place and have it filled then bring it back uh my dad like i said my dad did that with his i think he's got like nine months out of a uh out of one hundred gallon propane tank and he cooks all the time with the uh with the stove his is the only the stove in his house is the only uh only thing that uses propane everything else will be electric but the house is coming along nice. They did the overhangs yesterday, or some of them. They still got a, uh, they still got to come back and run some L flashing to cover up the red iron all the way down the sides. So, and they still got some, uh, some, uh, what's it called? Some flashing or whatever that'll go along the edges all around the, the house so finally got all our appliances like I said in the, one of the previous videos when we uh, sold the house in San Antonio about a year and a half ago we got rid of everything sold gave away threw away everything except my recliner the TVs and my son's bed because we had just bought it it's like a trundle bed or something it's got the uh the drawers up underneath the bed so we kept that the tvs my recliner because it's an alligator skin recliner and then also our bed frame because it's a sleep number adjustable bed frame everything else though we had to buy so we got the range refrigerator dishwasher Vin Hood's over in the shop. Uh, 
I think we ordered my daughter's bed and then two desks because both the kids want a desk. And we got some other stuff. I think my wife's ordering a couch. No, we did order the couch. We went to somewhere. I don't remember where. Last weekend and bought the couch. It's going to be a like a big section. Well, not really a sectional. It's like the couch with a uh, with an oversized love seat combined. I don't know. It's it was nice, comfy. So I'm going to end up clearing all this underbrush, the persimmons, the cedar. I'm going to clear it, starting right over here, up underneath all this. That way. The live oak should get a little bigger. Uh, the persimmons and the cedar, or juniper, take a lot of moisture out of the ground. So it kind of starves the, the live oaks. And then I'm going to, if you look right down there, I'm going to end up clearing that out about another 50 to 75 yards, maybe 100 yards straight out. Put a feeder out at the end. And then put a water trough out at the end and bury a line, a water line over there to give the animals some water. Sit out here in the evenings, watch the deer and turkey and everything come up. So, gonna be nice. We're ready. We're ready to get out of that thing. If anyone's looking at wanting to buy one, we'll have one up for sale here pretty soon. That's the plans as of now. I don't know if we're gonna keep it or not. Tall guys said they should be about another two and a half weeks or so. They got to do both bathrooms and then the whole floor is uh, tile. It's going to be like a wood grain tile. I don't know if you can see it. This will be the, the stones in the bathroom floors or the shower floors. Pretty nice. Throw some cowhide rugs down. I gotta get that dirt pile moved. And I got another dirt pile that's on the other side of the house I gotta get moved. And then try to straighten some of this up over here. I'm gonna end up building a shop. I want like a 40 by 50. 30 by 50, 40 by 60, something like that. I ain't decided yet. But I'm either gonna set it right here, or if I set it right there, I can come off of the power pole, which is dad's power pole. But uh, my power pole's over there. And I thought about, there's a little roll, road that goes down. They call them senderos down here in South Texas, but. There's a little road that goes down. I thought about kind of opening this up just right here and throwing the shop right there. Cause I'll have, a, I got a water line over here. So I have water and power. We're gonna put, uh, not the shop I wanna do is uh, all insulated, uh, spray foam. And then I want like a full bath in, in the back of the shop. A little office, then a full bath. Uh, shower, toilet, all that kind of stuff. That'll come in the future. We still gotta finish this thing. So, I'll holler at y'all later, guys.